Okay, the title of this is Grateful. That's the artwork. Actually, the artwork generated the thought when I thought, okay, this is gonna be behind us. Don't really like doing these things, but the word grateful after 32 years in Mary Kay Cosmetics, um, I have so much I'm grateful for. And first and foremost, I'm grateful that someone offered me this opportunity. I'm grateful that they explained some of the things we're gonna explain today that they were grateful for so that I didn't make a decision based on fear. Um, fear that I was too shy. Fear that I wasn't the salesperson type. Fear of what family and friends would think after I had just gone four years to the University of Michigan. Um, fear um, that I wouldn't know how to find my customers. Fear that I didn't have enough time in my 80 hour work week to squeeze this in. Fear about the $100 not being in my checking account because I already had more month than money as a 23 year old. I'm so grateful that I got enough information to make a decision based on faith versus fear, um, in fact versus fiction. And um, my name is Dawn Otten Sweeney. I'm a national sales director with Mary Kay Cosmetics. And I get to introduce you to my daughter, Alden Sweeney Wido. So when I was first um, approached about Mary Kay, actually to be a face model for a new consultant's Mary Kay portfolio before and after pictures, Alden was a figment of my imagination. <laughs> I was 23, I had just gotten engaged, um, knew that my husband's job was gonna take us around the country, especially for the first couple years. Um, but now to think, she just celebrated her five year anniversary mm -hmm. with Mary Kay and started this when she was 19. Mm -hmm. So um, I think this gives you a pretty good idea through 32 years, three decades of life, and now a new young woman starting the business. Um, Mary Kay, gosh, we have a lot to be grateful for, for Mary Kay Ash pursuing her dreams because she's created a marketing plan that's as relevant today, I believe, for you as it was 55 years ago um, this September for the nine women she started this company for. So Alden, what in your five years and prior to that, because you came home from the hospital in a pink Cadillac. I did. Um, what are you grateful for, most grateful for? Well, we can't spend all day, so um, just a, a few things. I'm grateful for the lifestyle that Mary Kay allowed my mom. Um, so growing up, I did come from home in the home in a pink car um, from the hospital. So I've grown up pink, as they say. Um, but I've been so thankful to see a mom walk out a life of impact and influence, um, but still being a mom at the same time. I used mm -hmm. to tell people that I thought she was a stay-at-home mom, um, and that's when she was a top sales director with Mary Kay, going on all expense paid five and six star trips with her and my dad, um, driving a pink car, and I thought she was a stay-at-home mom because she was always home when my brother and I needed her, and sometimes when we didn't necessarily want her there, <laughs> but, um, so grateful for the choices mm -hmm. that this business has allowed our family. Choices that some people don't even realize that they could have. Mm -hmm. um, some people that, that they've stopped dreaming about those choices. Mm -hmm. So I'm thankful for that. Um, I think the biggest thing is I'm thankful for the role models that were placed in my life because I've made very different choices because of the mm -hmm. people that have spoken yeah. into my life and have come into um, our lives from Mary Kay relationships. And that I think has made the biggest influence and impact on who I am as a person and who I strive to be. Okay, so this is the <laughs> part that's hard for me not to cry and so I may just cry. Um, I, I, I know in, in Mary Kay and her autobiography um, says that this company legacy in continuance after she's gone is based on three principles being protected. And one is the golden rule, you treat other people how you wanna be treated yourself. Um, prioritizing your life with God first, family second, and career third. And that God has planted a seed of greatness inside of everyone, every single um, person. He has created you for something um, awesome, to impact this world in a positive way. And um, I think of my 
dreams when I was young that I wanted to be successful in business like my dad, but a stay-at-home mom like my mom. And in the late 80s when I got out of college, I did not see those two intersecting for women in business. Mm -hmm. And I think, what if Debbie Moore had not made Nancy Murata come to talk to me in a mall 32 years ago this May of 2018? Um, this may not be the story that my daughter was sharing. Because if I would be compelled to be addicted to something, I think it would probably be work and success. And um, I could have sacrificed raising my kids um, or I could have sacrificed sharpening myself and becoming best in all arenas. Um, it really is amazing how, you know, when God made us, when you pursue your dreams and your goals, if you just don't quit, when you look back in retrospect, you're going to see his hand ever so clearly. Mm -hmm. What? So in your five years, what do you think are some attributes that help women be successful? You've mentored um, two women, their sales directors now, and they're building their businesses around their lives for their reasons. Mm -hmm. um, what? And you've grown up with some of the top people in Mary Kay. Daylene White, who was one of the first nine Mary Kay Beauty Consultants um, that started the company with Mary Kay, the first director, first national. Actually, I have a picture with you in diapers crawling all over Daylene in her house <laughs> down in, in St. Simons Island, Georgia. So between our lineage, that close to Mary Kay, um, the impact that Debbie Moore's had on your life, and Heather Carlson, and um, the Hulu family, what, what attributes do you see in women who are successful in Mary Kay and not necessarily just the top levels, because success for a woman in this comes at $50 a week in extra income, to a six-figure income, to free cars, and a lifetime of impacting women potentially around the world. So at, at all levels, what are attributes that help women be successful, um, regardless of how much Mary Kay they'd like to do or what their level of success would be? Yeah. Something I really liked about Mary Kay when I came in is that I got to see all different types of women doing it. I didn't just see a cookie cutter. Um, I didn't just have to be my mom, which I want to grow up and be like her, but I didn't have to be her. I could be me. Um, so success has so many different levels in Mary Kay. And I think honestly, the number one thing that I've seen um, for the people that are successful is that you have to be coachable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Honestly, when I came in, I knew nothing. I knew the company was great and I had unwavering belief that this business was what they said it was and it worked. But I didn't know how to do any of the basic skills at all. <laughs> and I was 19 so I had very little life experience um, and no business experience but I knew that I could be coachable mm -hmm. and if I was willing to learn and um, trust the women that went before me that I could be successful mm -hmm. at any level. So coachability. I think bounce back ability, mm -hmm. we're in the people business mm -hmm. um, and knowing that it's not always predictable with people, mm -hmm. but knowing that it's going to be worth it mm -hmm. and being able to bounce back when things don't go perfect. Mm -hmm. And that's why I've liked in Mary Kay how authentic the leaders are because nobody will tell you that it's easy, right? but they'll tell you that it's simple mm -hmm. and that it's all worth it. Mm -hmm. So coachability, bounce back ability, um, really just straight grit. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. women that are gritty, yep. that figure things out, mm -hmm. that know how to make a way um, around any kind of obstacle mm -hmm. that might be thrown their way. And um, I've, I've found that the women that are very successful in Mary Kay, at whatever level of success that means for them, um, they're high capacity. Yeah. They're excellent at everything that they do in mm -hmm. real life, regular life. They're mm -hmm. excellent moms, wives, you know community members, whatever their job mm -hmm. is, they're excellent at it and mm -hmm. they just bring that into Mary Kay because if you're excellent, you know, before Mary Kay, it's super easy to translate that into this business and make it work for you. Mm -hmm. Also, I think um, women who have a willingness to do something different, to get something different. <laughs> Absolutely. Because a lot of people, um, they want success in a, in a lot of different realms of life. They want to be great in different things, but they're unwilling to do what it takes. So. Mm -hmm willingness to um, do something different, to get something different. Also, I think women who either they already embrace a God first, family second, career third priority system in their life, or 
they're fine with that. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't embrace that when I started my Mary Kay business, but I was very curious about it because mm -hmm. that wasn't something that I was taught in business school. Um, and so I think women who come to the table saying, I love to serve women, mm -hmm. I love to minister to women, I love to be a champion for women, a cheerleader for women, um, naturally excel in this Absolutely. because ultimately that's what this is about more so than you know selling products mm -hmm. um, we get to do that as a way of serving and teach women how to build a business as a way of serving mm -hmm. um, what are some of the things that you think hold people back from getting started from you know women are listening to this you, maybe mm -hmm. a new consultant that's it's part of her training um, she's moving up the career path. She's entering a car in Mary Kay. She's a sales director moving up to the next position. She's yeah. building a national area. So um, you're very helpful. You're very strategic for mm -hmm. her. Hopefully you are you love being a customer. Um, that's the first place. Mm -hmm. And then maybe you could share her with some friends and be a hostess. Mm -hmm. um, but um, if this business is something that's for you, you could be a team member or a talent scout. So what do you think, if someone's going to be a talent scout and share with her girlfriend, you need to listen, get some more information about this Mary Kay thing. It might be perfect for you. Mm -hmm. What are some of the major um, first concerns that people have that may hold them back from even giving it a shot? Yeah. I find that they're very similar um, all the time, no matter what um, age range or you know, stage of life or anything like that, they're usually always the same. The first thing I always hear is time. Mm -hmm. As women, we do a lot, um, balance a lot of different things. So I always hear, I don't, I don't have the time, but I have a need. Mm -hmm. So I might need more money, but I don't have the time. Mm -hmm. I might need more self-confidence, but I don't have the time. Right. I might need more community, mm. but I don't have the time. Mm -hmm. um, but with that, I always ask people, like how we could rearrange their time. Mm -hmm. So our job in Mary Kay is to teach women how to use this opportunity as a vehicle for them to have reach whatever goal they have, whether that is more money or freedom or choices. Um, and it's our job to fit that in any nook and cranny. Mm -hmm. So we teach people how to make time for this. And this is where the willingness comes in. Right. You know, are you willing to exchange your time for something different to get something different. Right. Um, and money, I don't have the money. I need the money, but I don't have the money mm -hmm. right now. Right. Um, and unfortunately, you can't float checks right. like you could back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, I was good at it. <laughs> skill, <laughs> high capacity yeah. skill. Um, but um, again, it's women are resourceful. You can find some people mm -hmm. that love you, maybe one person that loves you, loves you $100 worth, maybe two for $50 worth. Because um, it's $100 to start a Mary Kay business, which is so inexpensive. Mm -hmm. I can't get out of any store mm -mm. for less than $100. Mm -mm. Um, but, you know, it comes back. Are you willing to do something different to mm -hmm. get something different? Because right. if you can't find $100 now and you're not changing anything in your life, right. you know, it's not going to show up. It, I don't have a money tree. I wish I did, but I don't either. it's not growing. <laughs> so, um, you know, fast forward a year from now. A year from now if you don't do anything different mm -hmm. are you gonna get anything different right so it's really just I think you know time money concern of what people are gonna think mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people have a lot of preconceived notions about what direct sales is or right. maybe even specifically what Mary Kay is and a lot of times people have no idea right so that's yeah. why we wanted to do this so people could see right. you know what our culture really is mm -hmm. and what we really are and it may be for you it may not be but it could be for somebody that has been hoping and praying and dreaming of an opportunity like this, and you are the talent scout for that. So this is just to give people some extra information and you know help them see what it really is like to you know spend 33 years in Mary Kay and then start it at a young age and build a career at a you know young age through college and then a marriage and then helping my husband um, pursue his dream of professional hockey. So it's just you know. It's the same story, just at different stages of life that women have, you know, mm -hmm. different needs, and we we teach you how to put Mary Kay into places. Around it. Right. So yeah, I think of three decades, and so I started single, and then married, moving around the country with my husband's job and babies, twenty four months apart, mm -hmm. um, open heart surgery for your brother, 
um, at three months of age and at 10 years of age and the flexibility to work around all that. Mm -hmm. And then to think, I'm sitting here as we're doing this, your pink Cadillac is sitting out in the driveway and we're sitting in your home mm -hmm. that you bought and paid for um, every mortgage payment every single month is paid for with the sales of the Mary Kay product. So whether you were a director or not, you could live in this home mm -hmm. by selling the Mary Kay product, which is what Mary Kay intended this business to be, mm -hmm. is women, this is not um, the type of business that you sit behind a computer. No. You're, we use technology to support us, mm -hmm. um, and that's really another thing this is about. I have 10 years till I retire. Directors and consultants can work until they're 100 years old or longer. Um, and I've had women in women that I mentor now, they're in their 70s and 80s. Mm -hmm. um, and they do it beautifully and love it uh, with the flexibility and the income and no age discrimination. Um, but as a national, I will be retiring at 65 with a really nice family security program for Mary Kay, paid for, totally company sponsored, 65% about of what I make for 15 years, free Cadillac and three more all expense paid trips. Um, but that's 10 years. Yeah. I've been in 32 years. 10 years is going to go by like that. And so we have a lot of educating to do. We need you to spread the word about what Mary Kay is all about because there's so many women mm -hmm. that could use a vehicle for their dream. They could use flexibility. They could use income. They could use self-confidence, self-esteem, God confidence, fellowship, um, support, mm -hmm. encouragement. So after listening to this, if you want more information, let your consultant know. We knew we just needed this to be short and hopefully grab your heart enough that you want to hear more. Um, I would recommend getting a sheet that says um, what could you expect from holding Mary Kay parties mm -hmm. if you want to invest in one party a week or ten parties a week. What our career path looks like. What the free car program looks like. Yes. That saves you a ton of money having yes. no car payment or insurance payment. Um, and then any other questions, you know, we're really an open book, mm -hmm. um, but do make a heart decision, mm -hmm. you know, in make a heart decision. Could this be a vehicle to make some changes in your life? What do you have to lose? You've probably spent a hundred dollars on things that have been less valuable. Um, and worst case, you get your stuff at cost, you get some tax deductions, you meet some new women, you learn some new skills. And you know, you make a decision based on fact versus fiction. Get wise counsel. Really, I'm so grateful that I listen to people um, who had been successful in the business, not my family and friends who loved me, but had no idea what it took to be successful um, with this opportunity. So let your consultant know either an A, B, or C. A means, yep, absolutely. I want to get that starter kit for $100 plus sales tax and shipping. Let's, you know, put a business plan together and get this started. B, you know what, buy me a cup of coffee. I have some more questions. And C, let's see who I know that you need to know. Because I believe that everyone that listens to this, that it's either for them or they're a conduit to a woman who needs to hear this information. So, any parting words that you would like to share? I just hope that this is, this gives you guys a quick view into um, what it looks like to be in Mary Kay and um, the choices that it allows. I think that's something that I've been so grateful for, um, for myself and then just the lifestyle that it's allowed, but also the new dreams that come true. Because when you realize that you could have more, your family could have more, um, it reawakens some dreams that you might have buried deep. So I want you guys to just you know, like Dawn said, it could be for you, it could not be for you, but if it's not for you, think of who this could benefit. Mm -hmm. Because I really do believe there's a lot of women out there that need what we have to offer, they just don't know that it's gonna come in a Mary Kay starter kit. So mm -hmm. please contact your consultant. A, B, or C is super simple. Um, and if you want any more information, she's gonna resource you with all the details. Mm -hmm. Because we didn't really wanna get into all the details because it takes a lot of time and your consultant's very equipped with all of the details, can break down all of the money, all of the career path, all of the car programs. Um, but we wanted you to hear our heart today mm -hmm. and experience kind of what it would be like to have coffee with us because this is my kitchen mm -hmm. and we are having coffee. <laughs> so, um, so we hope that you enjoyed this and it really did tug at your heart and that you can find the information that you need um, after this. And if the business is something you want to do, we'd love to mentor and train you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Have a good day.